and welcome to our channel. So it has been requested for Ruth to show how she does her makeup. So we thought today would be the perfect opportunity because um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that um, Ruth Salon has um, been competing for bridal wear and they are now in the final. So they'll find out tonight. So tonight is um, they'll announce the winners <coughs> yep. and um, it's kind of you'll be dressed in an evening gown which will show you the end result. So Ruth is sitting here with patches on her eyes. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> so um, what are these patches you've got on Ruth? Gold, eye patch gold and the make is patch. You can see they're for anti-aging but I only used them once before now and I feel they help take your bags under, a wee under your eyes. So, says a, it says a 27 year old, what are you, you 27? 27 now. Yeah. She says a 27 year old, wait till she's then 52. But they do, I think I see a difference. Anyway, I need to add here, Ruth is not a makeup artist, she's no. a hairdresser. I'm not a makeup artist. I took a blah 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 tail. So we're just, Ruth is just going to naturally do her hair. Well, she's going to do her hair as well because I was quite shocked when she walked in because she was supposed to be getting her hair done at the salon. And anyway, so she's going to be doing her hair. So I'll let her start doing her makeup first, and she's just going to be doing her makeup in the way that she always oh. does. Yeah. So can you reuse those patches? No, you get five in a pack. Right, this is first. just the Becca, and it's a backlight priming filter. It's called. And I'm just putting a tiny bit on of this. I can't use a lot of primers because it makes my foundation come off I think a wee bit. So you're just using blend your them. fingers to blend that yeah? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be fighting over the products now I'm just gonna show the product. Yeah. Then this is where majority of people put their eyes on first I put my foundation on. What my tape? Eyes. Anyway. Oh, what are you? Is that to have to do? Yeah. Oh the post it not. Just use a post-it note. That's what I use, post-it notes. This is my foundation. This is a double wear light Estee Lauder and it's number two. Here we go. I've only recently started using this. This is called a stippling brush and it's a real techniques. But I used to always use my sponge to get into buy it. I find I'm these soak liking. up your... You yeah, see what I think that's why, see now that I've used a new one, I think it's sucking up too much. So it's I've been using this then I use that for my concealer. You always look better in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Make you look really beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. So you're just blending in your foundation. Yeah. Tried the double wear that I use. Uh, when you for years, I always use the normal double wear, but my skin, my skin can go quite dry, uh, and I felt uh, eventually I realised I think it was that that was too heavy for my skin. So then they brought out the double wear light. Um, and I feel that's much better. Once I've put this on, I then go on to do my eyes. The Urban Decay. For up here, I would use the Booty Call. This, this one, this one here. Third one in. Do you always use this palette or do you swap? For like, when I'm going out, I tend to use this palette because it's got the shimmer and then I go into the other palette. But during the day, I would just use my mask. Do you not one. use a primer? Nope. Do you want a primer? No. Right, so I put that kind of all over and then I use the gold one which is called Half Baked and that goes just under my brow. My brow. So you've just used the same brush? Yep. <laughs> I'm doing it as I would do it. <laughs> and I always put a wee bit of this just in the corners here. Right. Then I go into the Ultimate basic. Change my brush for this one. It's got a slight angle on it, this one. Uh, so I'm going to use, I'm going to go for a quite smoked look. So I'm going to use these ones here. It's called Inst In Instinct, it's called. And it's got a slight kind of, kind of mauve type tone to it. So I'm going to just put that. Do you want these sticky things now? Oh, I'm forgetting that because I've not bought them. Yeah. Use sale tape. Right, I've left my tape that I use at home, so I'm using what Andrew does. And this is just post it notes. Mm -hmm. This just helps you get a nice finish you know, on the corner, not too far up into my eyebrow, just in the corner. Oh, they don't stay in place. 
I always hold it like that when I'm doing it. That's it. So do you get special tapes for that? No, I use electrical tape. <laughs> Electrical tape was George got like the mini electrical tapes and a wee tiny pack and they're the perfect width and it works perfectly. Because I used to just use sailor tape. That's how real this is. <laughs> I just keep building this. So that's what three, well, just two colours you've used so far, isn't just it? Just two colours. And this is my darker colour, I'm not going to use too much of this, it's called Lethal. That's the very end one. I'm just going to go in the kind of crease in your eye. Just keep building that colour. Right, once I do that, I'll go back to my kind of blending brush. Just blend that in a wee bit just where the join is. And then I'll get my highlighter one again and the uh, Naked 2 palette and go back over it with the half peak, the kind of goldy shimmery. Just blend that over the top. Finish that. I'm gonna add in. I'm gonna go back to the normal basic naked palette, and I'm gonna put this is a tiny wee bit of this, but it's called the extra bitter, and it's the orangey kind of one, burnt orange. I'm just gonna put a tiny wee bit on. I'm using that sort of decay brush, tiny wee bit, just in, tiny wee bit, just in the middle there, just in your crease. It just gives it a slightly different color. And again on the other side. That's just in the very crease. I'm going to do it as my eyeliner. So I use the Maybelline Last and Drama Gel Eyeliner. So it comes with a little brush. And it's got two ends, a smudge end and the brush end. And then it's just a little bit of brush. I just get them on. So just do a slight kind of winged effect. And I'll go back to this eye and then I'll kind of go over the other one to make it a bit darker. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Right, now that I've done the top line, I go in and I'm kind of water, is that what's called waterline, I'm sure. I go in and match a waterline underneath. Well, do you go inside the eye? I never used to, I've only started doing this and I think I prefer it. With a dark colour? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then I do a wee bit and smudge it underneath. If I do anything like that, it makes my eyes look smaller. I know, I think that tends to happen. Right, so once I've done that, inside of my eye I just go slightly kind of under the bottom eyelid and put a wee tiny bit here and then I turn it around use a smudge end and just smudge that slightly my eyes just now and now I'm going to go into my eyebrows. Now I like to film my eyebrows, I know the majority of people don't. Right, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. Go on. Just use a wee angled brush for my eyebrows. Can you see that? So I just kind of almost like I draw them and then fill them in. So I do a kind of outline. I didn't realise it was the actual shape of your eyebrow that you drew in. Oh no, I'll draw it, I'll just draw it in. I know my eyebrows are actually an okay shape, but I only go, I only fill them in so much because I'm so dark, and I've actually, that's them tinted like a black, my eyebrows, and they don't show up. Do you have them tinted? 
in there. I thought your eyebrows were lighter to do, uh, yet darker today than So usual. that's why I had to fit because my hair's so dark. So now I just slightly go around, follow me. So you're basically just, just colouring them and then colouring them in. So now that I use kind of just the edge of the brush and slightly kind of do the ends, so just gently. So I can put on a wee mark so it's a guide. I think you spend more time on your eyebrows than anything else. Okay. This is Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti Fatigue, and it's like a concealer. See that? And it's number fifty-one. Light is called. So I just put that again under where my bags are. So this is where I'll tidy up and finish kind of under my eye line. I do that as well with concealer. <clears throat> Thank goodness you put quite a lot. On, yep. <laughs> put that, and then I put it slightly above my eyebrow, and that fixes any wee bit. corner of it and I slightly kind of just dab it. I blend it down into my cheek first. And I'll just be dead careful and go under my actual eyeliner. Really and just blend up and if there's any wee imperfections I would take the wee tip and just run it along the shape of my eyebrow. Just as I've done that, I'm just going to go over my eye, the wee wing on my eyeliner quickly. To freshen it up. So now that I've done that, I then go on to my kind of cheek area. Um, I've been using this is just a wee. It's not not expensive at all. It's, I think it's called Seventeen Instant Go. You just get it in Boots, and I think it's about four pounds. I use a kind of bronzy coloured one, so it's got four colours in it. So I'm gonna get my cheek brush, and I kind of just go over it the two darker tones, just slightly, and I'm gonna put this just under my cheekbone here. Again, I like this quite dark, but I know the majority of people would like it as dark, but I'm just doing what I would usually do. Now I go on to using, this is the Becca highlighter, it's the, called the Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's just a wee mini one, Becca it's called. And I just go now over the top of my cheekbone. Once I do it there, I'm just going to go light, very lightly over my nose, over my eyebrows. Right, so that's me done my highlighter. So now I just go over kind of my full face with my bronzer. So for years I always used Hoola, then I found this, and it's the Kiko. And they do one every year, I think it comes in different packaging. It's called the, well this one's called the Summer Baked Bronzer. And it's number one Sun Celeb Celebration Honey. But it lasts me just over a year because it's it was amazing I can't see why it it's got a slight shimmer to it um and I think it's a good bit cheaper as well but I, I never used to see by Hula but I love this so I just gently kind of go over my full face mainly my tan 
just going dark. I just then use tan last night, so it's a bit darker. Um, I'll put my eyelashes on. So I'll put a wee, a wee bit of mascara on first. This is just a what one's this? A Rimmel day to night one. So you've got two ends to it. You've got a light version for during the day and length it says, and then a second bit for volume. I'm just going to put the light one on because I'm just I'm going to use eyelash lashes. So you're just using the light end now. Yeah. eyelashes on these are the 107 so it's got like a wee flick and volume eye lure eye lure these come with glue but i'm going to use my own glue it's the jewel and it's colored black when it dries in I don't see that white on the eyelashes which is horrible where'd you get that from just getting salon services Sally. so i'm just putting that on the very edges i've got a wee bit running in that side and i'm going to leave them just for a couple of seconds 30 seconds just to let it dry slightly. While I'm doing that I'll put a wee bit of something on my lips. When I do my lip liner I'm just going to go over again a wee tiny wee bit of highlighter. Just in my wee cube as well. And I'm just going to use a wee Rimmel number 63 lip liner. He's staying snob. I'm going to, my lips been quite dry because the weather's been quite bad here so I'm going to use my Dior Lip Balm. It's the number one. The pink one, lip gloss, I'll put on that first. I would usually wear a dark lip going out, but because my lips are quite dry, I'm just going to wear a pink. Right, I'm going to put my lashes on now so it's not dry too much. Loads of people you usually use uh, tweezers, but I can't use that. So I, I just, can't use tweezers I either. just kind of hold each end in. So I measure it up to my eyelid. And then hold it the other end and then hold it for a few seconds until I feel it's dried a bit and then I push in the middle. I'm just gonna go over them both with the volume side of the mascara. Use this, it's a soft matte lip cream NYX instead of matte lipstick. It's just a Istanbul, it's called. So, this is how Ruth looks now that she's finished her makeup. And I'm also gonna switch off the ring light, which we have just there, just so you can see the difference of how the makeup looks with the light on and without the light. Ruth looks like without the ring light on. So she's just gonna do her hair now, and we'll go through the process of that as well. How she's going to do her hair. How are you planning to do your hair, Ruth? Quite high, like a kind of messy, not a bun, but that type of style, so it's quite undone. Looking.